Hello and welcome back to The Darkness 2. Uh, okay, so Jackie's officially crazy -er than before. So I guess we're gonna try and find out what's going on. I'm not even supposed to be here. So yeah, I feel like that too. Mr. Walker. Who's Mr. Walker? Or is that Johnny? Johnny Walker? No? No? No, I'm... What the uh, fuck is happening to me? Hey, no good asking me, buddy. I haven't a clue. Just kinda nice, though. I mean, except the fact you're all banged up and crazy, of course. I mean, you are pretty crazy. I'm gonna guess that this is the darkness is in your head again, because, you know, you took one to the face. So it makes sense it's repairing you, like it did last time. Except last time you were in hell, of sorts, in the middle of the darkness or something, I don't know. But I digress. It's very pretty outside. Looks very nice. Whee! He goes up and down, but he does well if I'm patient with him. It can be confusing for him at times. I want to do some displacement therapy with him. I'll set something up. Ooh, nurse we'll Jenny. Let me know if he gets back on his cycle. Jenny? Okay. Hey, Jenny. Jenny, it's me. Your crazy person. Boyfriend, maybe. Uh, fine. Be like that, Jenny. I'm concerned he's regretting huh. the Maybe not. Hi, yes. Don't be that guy. Don't be gross. Wash your hands. I was just wondering if anything seemed immediately. Rub for 90 seconds. Give 10 Hail Marys. Kidoogie. Wouldn't that suggest they were I suppose we better talk to Johnny. Hey, Jackie. I got the thing you wanted. It's big. Uh, okay. Johnny, talk to me. What is all this? Some kind of darkness trick? That's what I told them, but they wouldn't believe me. They got b bad wrists from all the computers. I tried to get your rocket in here, but it was too big. That's why I don't go outside no more. Oh. Johnny, you gotta help me get out of here. You think there's some kind of secret key to everything, Jackie? Well, I saw it's the Matrix Tuesday. once. You take your medicine and then you get your meatloaf. God damn it. Johnny, you're an imbecile. I hate you. Au revoir, arrivederci, and good Out of? Is it morning already? Uh, Dolphin? Dolpho? The fuck's going on here? What I really want to do is paint. Well, not you too. The hell? That ain't the world. Well, it is sort of, but you've kind of coloured it wrong and you've added some islands. Contingency plan. You look funny. So do you, you freak. Oh, shouldn't really say freak in this place. It's probably not very PC. All right, so let me get this straight. Tony? He I says he has a big that. mansion kind of place. Tony, please, tell me you know what the fuck is going on. Tell me, here. Tony. Lima beans are spies. You're an idiot, Tony. Fuck me. No, thank you, Jackie. No, thank you. But I agree. Well, not with the whole sex thing, but you know. Oh, dear. All right. Uh, do I need to get pills or something? Hey, Frank. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. Right. Right, do I don't get any drugs? Fine. Who's this lady? Hello? How are you today, Jackie? Um, you yes. You should really remember to take your medication. What's your name? Can't even read it. No, you know, your nurse blurry. So you know, I guess you don't don't know you. Oh, I can tell you missed bath time again this week, Jackie. Sorry, uh, been too busy killing people to have a bath. You know how it is. Thank, thanks, nurse. Is this the office? Here, yeah. Jackie. Uh, cheers. Doctor James is waiting, Jackie. Jackie. Come on in. I'd hope I'd see you this morning. Please have a seat. Uh, sure. Whoa, no old man Crusher. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jack? Because I'm crazy? I'm not crazy. This is just oh. an illusion. Oh, okay, we're not crazy. Right. Illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Well, it must Don't be because I wasn't here. Jimmy, the darkness is inside our heads. Oh. You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not going to skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. Oh. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. 
There is something wrong with this place. You are not keeping okay, me here. Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Eddie, shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset, <laughs> but I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Wow, this is patronizing. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Hello, Mom, Nurse. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah. That sounds... Sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Yeah, I'm with Jackie on this one. No way is the Jimmy the Great great Let's man. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. I'd love to go see Jenny. I, I saw Jenny on the way past. Like, I know where I'm going. I gotta follow you, have I, Eddie? Fine. See you yourself. Move, Eddie! Got my eyes glued to the back of your neck until you move faster. Faster! <laughs> Excellent. Ladies, Eddie, don't need your help. Jackie, I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's um, a I'm over here, Jenny. Sign. Jenny? Oh god, it's like the sixth sense. Uh, Jenny? Jenny! Yeah, I gotta sit down or something. Fine. Dr. Vic's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. That's nice piercing, nurse, Jenny. Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two. What the fuck is happening? Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be all right. Patronizing nice crazy guy? No. Not a good plan. Last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family and that your house was... Nice. ...under attack by uh. men trying to steal the darkness from that you. That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but... Punch her, Jackie. Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell, and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. That probably does sound pretty I crazy, doesn't it? I see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. But my family, my, my friends, the darkness. I saw a Buffy episode like this once. Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? Uh. My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Code white! <coughs> Easy, Jackie. Jackie. Come on. Come on. You were doing All right, so here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Except that big needle you have in your hands. No! No! Geronimo! Johnny! Oh, go cheers, Johnny. Johnny? What the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get them all, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get back here, Jackie! Yep, sounds like a plan. He must Eva, have some problems. Avoid the orderlies. Which one's the orderlies? I want to go this way, right? Da -da 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 He's Damn right I am. Nope. Boy, this way. Cheers, uh, Nobby. Nobby. Freedom! See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me, butcher knife in his hand. Why doesn't his hair have a shadow? Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Ooh, I think we're going into sexy time. Oh, well, no. I can't believe it, you're back. You said the doctors won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Four days? Oh, God damn it. Fuck mind. Look, Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but uh, 
They arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he... Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all gone to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chase them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood jackoffs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands, it's not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what if? What if, uh, what if she isn't even real? Hmm? The darkness plays tricks on you huh? and makes you see things. Deja vu. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. I agree with this, Jackie. Sounds like a good plan. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing. Man, I need like a partner or something. There's some chick named Revy on some island I should go grab. She's quite good you at killing people too. I'll find out what I can. Uh, I shall. Th thank you. Let's do it. Hey, Chief. Hey. Good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way. <sighs> nice one, Chief. I agree. Man, what a mess. It's been four days and you guys couldn't clean up. Hey, Frank. Hey, Jackie. Good to see you back. Those fucking weirdos tried to drag you off. But we were able to turn them around after you took so many of them out. We just couldn't get to Aunt Sarah in time. Frank. I'm sorry about Eddie. You did the right thing, boss. Nothing else you could have done. We're gonna take care of his wife, though, right? Of course. We'll look after his family. Thanks, boss. That means a lot. I miss him too. It's a sad, sad day when I didn't even make the choice, it did it for me. Boo. What the hell? It's like zoomed in, I got goggle eyes. Really, seriously, that's weird. Uh, where am I going anyway? The one time Nigel finally takes me out, they destroy the place. Yeah, my bad. Jackie, you don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Ah, oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Occupational hazard, son. I'm just... I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. Good plan. Let's do it. Boss, wow, mm. We're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Let's do it. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. Cheers, Vinny. Alright, Jackie. Let's go do the deed. Then we need to kill a lot of people. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's. Real shithole of a bar. But the waitress, biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in a hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny and my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I'm finally healed up, Aunt Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did. Hardcore? Wait. Oh crap. Wait, unless this is a flashback. Flashback good? Going crazy bad. No, this is definitely going crazy. None of this is real. Yeah, I've got it that much. Oh. Here you go, Jackie. Cheers, goon. Appreciate that. Yo, hired goon. Um, I should probably... Y y y oh, whatever. Wait! 
Damn it, Vinny, you like teleport here, man. Come on, Jackie, let's you and me head up. 